so good. What day is it today? Friday morning, everybody. I just thought we'd show you a video of our room, which is actually a suite. So there's the front door. Come in here, and you have your own kitchen, and it's got it's got cutlery and plates and sugar and salt and pepper and all that stuff in here. It's even got it's got a like a just a two burner stove, microwave, and this little dishwasher. It's cool. Fridge and then desk, of course. So ignore our piles. So there is our the windows. So we're looking over the highway, the Hanlon Expressway. Uh, there's like a little kitchen table -y thing there. There's the bed. Of course, it's not as neat as when it was made when we got here, but there's the bed. And over here is the bathroom. Mike's in there. Hi, Michael. What? I'm videotaping. Don't open the door, please. We don't need to see that. Don't open that! So, yeah, so there's a closet and the bathroom with a really nice tub and stuff in there. And the sink and some chairs over here. So it's actually quite nice. And they have a full hot breakfast downstairs. Uh, a pool, really nice uh, fitness center. And all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. I didn't bring my workout stuff, but anyway. It's, uh, it's cool. There's me. Hello. And it's gray and cloudy and warm outside today. Of course, the last time we were here, it was foggy. Isn't that weird? Hmm. So we're off today to see my friend and get our dogs ready to go tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, see Bill's T-Max for lunch, maybe. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys later. Bye. We're still driving. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we got lost overnight. We haven't stopped. We just kept going. We've been driving for, I don't know. Anyway, we are in the fog again, but it's not as bad as last time. You can at least see the grass. Look at there's no snow here. None. We've come through snow and ice and crap and crud, and now look. Woohoo! Okay, Michael, I am going to tell you to. Uh, you can go on court, right? Just tell me which way to go definitively. Go straight. Okay, so we're going into Guelph. Um, to run some errands, to see a couple of friends, to go see my friend who's sick, and to um, go out for lunch. And uh, that's if I'm hungry by then, because I just ate a big... Well, for me, breakfast. I don't eat big breakfast. So anyway, it was big for me. So yeah, there's nothing much, nothing much to show here. Uh, so when I see something worth showing, I'll let you know. Why do people do this? The speed limit's on here, and it's so dangerous to go so slowly. <sighs> it's just a shape below the speed limit. Uh, okay. Okay, so this is Stone Road. So you could go across Stone Road if you want. Where it is, so. Turn right. How quickly they forget. Yeah, I, this is me we're talking about. Oh yes, you forget your name. If I didn't live with you every day, I'd forget your name even. I just said that, see what I mean? I just said, yeah. So what you say? Oh. We gotta clean this car. I just cleaned this car. All right, so there's another hotel there. That's where we stayed at when we were moving. We stayed there with our dog. And it was kind of weird because the room was in a an atrium looking in. You so see, you had a, a window, a sliding glass door, which looked into the inside of the building. It was weird. Stone Road Mall, it's changed a lot. Oh, wow. It's like wow. outside access. Yeah, you could take me in there and we can go to Lush. No. <sighs> Man, this has changed so much different. here. It's completely, totally different. Wow. Look at their... Oh, yeah, they are updating the Wendy's finally. Yay. They're Tim Hortons. He said they updated Tim Hortons. Oh, yeah, updated Tim Hortons. Now I'm supposed to show them the... Um... Am I supposed to turn here? No, keep going straight. Okay. 
Okay, so I will show you where I went to university. Uh, if it's still here, maybe they tore it down. <laughs> oh yeah, the Walmart, they did build the Walmart here. Oh, there's where Montana's is now. It wasn't there before, was it? No, we had to go to a different restaurant there. Right. There's Casey's up in the corner. Okay, so Canadian Tire. These are all university buildings, so for research and stuff like that. So that's what they, they do research and stuff. And soon. That's uh, where the guinea pigs are, are kept for their research, their medical research. Oh. That's where I met Ellen. Oh. <laughs> so soon in uh, March break, I think, at the end of March break or something like that, they are having College Royal where the university is open for the public and you can go and get free milkshakes and. Go and look at dead animals and put your hand inside a fistulated cow and all you know kinds what a of stuff. Cow is. Yeah, do you know what a fistulated tell them what a fistulated cow is? It's a cow that's got a hole made into it so you can put your hands in the stomach and pull out what's there so you can see how it's being digested and examine and learn from that. It's very unique. Yes. So there's the University of Guelph. They have a griffin. They never had the, gr the, uh, the griffin there before, yeah, did they? But it is their mascot. Yeah, the Guelph griffins. So, uh, yeah, that was another hotel we were looking at, or I was looking at, but that one's expensive. So we didn't stay there. Uh, so in a minute, I'll show you where my residence was, which was a building designed by whoever, somebody who designs prisons, and it's exactly like a prison inside, let me tell you. Batman's in front of us, but Batman must be texting. Kids. Might not be a kid. Okay, so here, here are the residences at the University of Guelph, if you can see them there. Those big brown metal, I mean, steel, metal, steel is the same. Okay, uh, yeah. concrete brick buildings in here. So I had a roommate that was a bit strange and nice, but strange. And uh, we faced into the courtyard and that was, it was just weird. And, and they were designed by a guy who designs prisons. Michael, I just said that, Mike. I know you first said that. <laughs> Why are you saying it again for because it? Because it was designed by a guy who designs prisons. Oh, good grief. And that is changed a lot, too. Wow. That's a nursing home. That was never there before. No, it wasn't. And and it's very interesting to walk down the hallway after you've been salmon fishing. Yes. Uh, when Mike and I started dating, he had gone out salmon fishing and he came walking down the hallway covered in, from head to toe in blood from salmon. And uh, that was very embarrassing, but uh, maybe not so embarrassing. It is a vet college, so you might college. have thought you kind of delivered a cow or something. Great. Ellen was mortified. How could you show up here like that? Oh, it was gross. It was gross. Now, you are going to turn left at this road, I believe. This should be, I don't know what, a Victoria Road. So I'm sorry that once again it's foggy and there's not much to see here, but anyway. It's fog. fog there's is fog. Amazing. And this is a the Turf Golf Turf Grass Institute in here where they research crops and they research grass and different kinds of grass and what makes it good and better kinds and all that kind of grassy stuff. So anyway, that's about it for now come all the way to Guelph and look what we find. Well, that's cool. We'll have to check that out. You guys are going to have to check out Red Gone to Grey on YouTube. It's very cool. Still there, Jeremy? So, it's Saturday morning and we just left our hotel and we are going to go pick up the dogs plus one extra and head for home. So, um... The sun looks like it's going to come out, so maybe we can get some non-rainy videos for a while today of things, and that's about it. Do you want anything to say? Do you want to say anything, I mean? I'm tired. Yeah, tired. Well, look who we have here. There's Remy, who doesn't like the camera. Remy's the tan one that's ours. And there's Marley. 
It's gonna be Robin's. And in here we have Cinder. Okay, guys and girls, here we are going towards Toronto. We're in Mississauga now. And um, the airport is over here. See where that big wall thing is there? That's right in behind over there. So, I don't know which way airplanes are taking off or landing or anything. I don't know if we'll see anything, but they had a plane went off the runway last night. A plane from Halifax, oddly enough. And, but everybody was okay, thankfully. Oh, and I see another, oh, that's not a hawk. I'm seeing a lot of hawks around here. So, we are once again on the 401. into downtown, not downtown Toronto, coming into Toronto, close, there, right there. close but not quite, and this is uh, Saturday, so I don't remember it being this busy on a Saturday. Something's in the way. 
Energy Center. This is a nuclear plant, I believe. There's signs up saying there's a nuclear information place here. And um, that is on uh, Ontario Power Generation, and that is on Lake Ontario. And there's another nuclear plant in Pickering, and there's some other plant over there, and I don't know what that one is, so maybe when we get around I'll see. But right now, we have a truck to pass. <laughs> and then we have this big factory over here, and I wasn't able to figure out what it was the other night, but it's very large. It's not 
possible. True to story. Time for a new battery for this thing. I think you're right. Jeremy, spend some more money. <laughs> yeah, get your battery fixed, Boobly. Yep. Yeah, get your battery fixed. All right, well, we've got 509 kilometers to go for to get out of Ontario, so uh, we're going to sign off for a little bit here, and we will see you later. Or, well, I guess technically you'll see us later. Yes. Much later. Me, we. Okay. Bye-bye. Au revoir. Someone got in troubles. It's more than one. Uh, what? I don't know what was going on. I don't there. know. <laughs> he was on the wrong side of him. If you go this way, you go to Ottawa. Look at the nest in the trees there. What the heck is that? Oh. Good ducks. You know, good ducks do live in nests. It could just be a bunch of squirrels, but it's over a swamp. Cormorants. Just outside of, or well, just outside of, because we're getting close to Ottawa. Yes. I figure we still got, it's 2.30 or so here, and I figure we still got another hour and a half to get out of Ontario area, area or, or hour or so to get out of Ontario area. Because it was around 824 clicks and we got 721, so we got 100 clicks to go to get out of the province. And then we start the, the Quebec run. Uh, Run de la Quebec, uh, yeah, speed. So, well, the one good thing about Quebec is they got lots of spots to stop for bathrooms and stuff. Yes. Which is nice. It's fun watching the windshield wipers go. It's hypnotizing. You will buy your white shoes. I will buy a new wife. <gasps> what an awful thing to say. I don't know. It kind of works for me sometimes. That's it's depending on how well you behave yeah. and how much of my money you spend. Ow, ow, ow. The bridge to the USSR. <laughs> yes, the bridge to you Russia is down the there, apparently. That's right there. We saw off the highway. Oh no, I don't think so. I don't. See. I don't know. I, I think we're missing know. a river between us at the moment. Yeah, it's got to go over a river, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah, the St. Lawrence. It's got to go over the yeah, St. Yeah. Lawrence. And I don't see no St. Lawrence River, so. It must be where Kathy, Steve, and I came across. Possibly. Okay. Or the one before that. There's another one before that, just not too long ago either. Yeah, because when we went there, we went up that road to Ottawa. So. Okay, what does this sign say? Uh, uh, sap 
wines yesterday. Yes. Harvesting the syrup to the maple. Oh, what? What? Oh my goodness. Montreal, 193 kilometers, eh? Don't you know, huh? Okay, she is. Some of women, they always make fun of you for some reason or other. I don't understand. Oh my gosh. But I'm just a simple man. Yes, sir. Oh, you are a simple man. I am a simple man. new addition. This is Cinder. Cinder is a Chihuahua, aren't you? A mix of a Chihuahua and something else, right? Little ankle biter, huh? Yeah, you little ankle biter. She's awfully warm and cuddly. Aren't ya? Hmm? I like your picture taken. All right. Just came through Montreal. Are we still going past? Yes, we're still going. We're still going past Montreal. And this police car. 
car over here. No, that can't be the same one. It's over there. You got over there either. Really? He just passed us. It's been an accident. It's been an accident. Yeah. Yeek. Look how yucky it is outside. It's yucky. Ugh. My puppy? It's yucky. The other puppies, I think, must be asleep back there. They'll be glad to get out of here for a little bit. Yeah. I'll be glad to get out of here for a little oh, bit. Yes, but I want to talk to you for a while yet. No, I know. Uh, yesterday we came at this time, I think, or not yesterday, but the day before yesterday. Uh, seriously, for Pete's sakes, you're not even in your lane. Um, we came and it was sunny and so nice at this time of the day and now it's just like bleh. I don't know if you can see this down here, but there's two guys down here racing. I don't see where the other guy is now. They just blew past us, cut somebody else off. Changing lanes again. But they're changing lanes like crazy. Oh, this is ridiculous. it very well. Maybe I'll just keep it on for a minute in case one of them crashes into each other. Well, I hope that. We're too close to that. No. Okay. Yes, I hope not. Jeez, it wasn't nearly this bad driving through here the other day with crazy people. Is this the other one? This is the one right here that was racing them. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? No. They, they won't have it. Okay, we've just been backed up for like 20 minutes. minutes because of an accident, which must be right here, I guess, involving a tractor trailer. Could be just broken down. I think he's just broken down. Holy cow, are you serious? Oh, jeez. Oh. Anyway, okay, well, we're on our way. Bye. Okay, we're driving, whoops, so, sorry, very blurry. We're driving through an ice storm here, and don't really know what's going on right here. It's a fire truck. And there's smoke. And, oh my gosh. Is he on the side? Yes, I don't know if you guys saw that, because this is so blurry, but that car was totally on its side. And it's very icy because we're having an ice storm. Yeah, it'd be just past Quebec City now and on our way to Rivière de Loup. Uh, yeah, so 